getting rejected from your dream college is a nightmare. Getting dumped by your first boyfriend who goes to that college is another nightmare. To get accepted and get off the waitlist for your college, you have to beat the mean popular cheerleader Joanna in creativity by planning the best Sadie Hawkins dance there ever was. The problem is, what are we gonna do? We haven't even started and it's like this weekend. We will, as always, do it one step at a time and hopefully come out on top and accept it to school with our besties. This is Martin Bay reporting from the city of Eastdale with USA News. Joanna, people around the country are talking about your mural. At 200 feet wide and 40 feet tall, it's the largest ever painted by a high schooler. Tell us, what inspires you to create such a prodigious piece of art? Well, I've always been very creative. Ever since I sculpted a life-size paper mache cheetah as a young girl. Is anybody seriously buying this a cheetah? I just can't believe this crap has gone national. I don't care how big it is, it looks like it was painted by a toddler. If I'm being honest, I've always been something of a young Picasso. Oh man, shoot me. If she ends up at East Hill U next year instead of you, I might have to transfer elsewhere. Yo, let me know where you get accepted, okay? Same. You're amongst the panel that will decide whether Joanna currently waitlisted will be accepted into your school. Does this mural change things? It displays one of the qualities that we most look for in our applicants, creativity. But we're excited to see what another East Dell High student has in store for us this weekend. She's planning a new theme for the school Sadie Hawkins dance. I went to East Dell High and that dance was my first day with my wife. It's a very special event for me. Saturday and I will also be the anniversary of when we got engaged in Paris at a little seafood restaurant called Sulemé. It's a special night for us. We'll be stopping by excited to see what Nora does. Okay, so the pressure's on. Breathe. Calm down. How are you feeling, Nora? I'm so ready to take Joanna down. If Iselu wants to see creativity, that's what they're gonna get. That's the spirit, Nora. You could do this. We just have to throw the best school dance this town has ever seen. You heard the admissions guy? He started talking about the Sadie Hawkins dance and was right back at 18, young and in love. With this dance, you have the power to take him back to the night he got down on one knee for his wife. To create a memory for your classmates. That's bigger than any mural could ever be. Simon's right. You can't underestimate the power of nostalgia, Nora. <laughs> okay, we're a crew. Look at us. Uh, baddies walking. We have to start planning now. The dance is tomorrow. Okay, I said weekend, but it's tomorrow. There's a theme to figure out. The decorations, the food, and drinks. And the date? You know, considering girls ask guys. <laughs> Come on, Nora. Hint, hint. Ask him, Nora. Come on. Well, um, Simon, will you come to the dance with me as my, uh, bestie? We've become really good friends this year. It'd be fun. I'd love to go to the dance with you, Nora, in any form. Stop it, Simon. Now I want to love you. Why are you so sweet? Maybe we'll fall in love in this dance. What are you guys going to do? Oh, um, I, well, uh, Preston, if you're going alone, which I am, I'm definitely going alone. We, we could go alone together, you know? I, I'd love to go together. Alone? Huh, yeah, that wasn't awkward at all. Wow. Okay. So, Lainey and Preston are a thing. That's the cutest thing ever. I don't want to worry them, but if I'm being honest, I have no idea what to do for this dance. And that East OU admissions guy is clearly expecting something great. Well, let's start with what we know. It's tomorrow night. Everyone always matches their date. And if we don't do something for it, they're gonna go with the same theme they use every year. What's that? Eastdale High! Um, that's not a theme. How do you even decorate for that? They usually just put up some red streamers in the gym and call it a day. Okay, that's sad. We need to do something. Then they keep the lights on so it doesn't get too crazy. And at some point, Principal Harold always gets on the dance floor. Let's just say it's usually not the highlight of anyone's year. We've got to turn this dance around. But an artistic can't paint without a canvas. Huh? We need to go to the gym. I need to get a vision of this. Okay, so the streamers are already there. Looks like they've already started started decorating in here. They haven't started, they're done. Wait, this is the extent of the Eastdale High theme? There are literally two streamers and some speakers. Mm-hmm. Oh, this has got to go. This is not the memory anyone should have of their Sadie Hawkins dance. Oh my God, Simon, I've got it. What? You said it, a memory is powerful. What if we actually help the admissions guy relive the night he got engaged? Paris? That would be amazing. He said he proposed to her at a restaurant in Paris called Sous Le Mer. We could go with an under the sea theme or a 
Paris at night. I love it, Nora. You're brilliant. I can just picture it. Which theme would we like to preview? Let's see under the sea. Oh, that is a beautiful. I've envisioned a dance floor lit up by the glow of seahorses and starfish. A photo booth against a sea of sparkling blue. A dunk tank to keep Principal Harold busy. Oh, wow. Look at that dress. And us in the middle of it all dressed up to match the night. Um, and let's see Paris at night. I imagined us all slow dancing alongside the Eiffel Tower. There'd be a station to take photos with your amour. A fence to put a padlock on together like the Lovelock Bridge in Paris. And us under the glow of the Eiffel Tower, dressed up to match the night. What's your vote for, Nora? Okay, I know Paris is probably gonna be the better choice for the admissions guy, but Under the Sea really spoke to me. That thing, that lit up neon night. Little Mermaid, Under the Sea. And my dress was sexy. Under the Sea. I love it. Let's do this. Let's get you into Eastdale U and beat Joanna. Can we decorate the dance together, Nora, and wear our matching outfits? You don't have to ask, you're helping. A night under the sea would be so magical. Let's do it. Yes, under the sea, here we come. The night of the dance. You look incredible, Nora. I can't wait to see the gym. Simon and I spent all day setting up. Wait, did my best friends not help me? Are you serious? There's no way I set up all that with Simon alone in one night. It really feels like you're under the sea. Oh, it looks so exciting. Are you excited to be going to the dance with Preston? What? We're hardly going together. We're just two alone individuals going together. We're going as friends. Just because you go to a dance with someone doesn't have to mean you're together. I'm playing solo, Nora. I'm single and ready to mingle. Just now with Preston. Oh, wow, that was a long reach. They're here. Oh, Preston looks good. You ready to tear up the dance floor, bestie? Oh my god, Simon, stop it, my heart. You look awesome. Hey, Lainey, I heard you were wearing blue to the dance, so, you know, blue. So I wear blue too, since everybody on a date tonight will be matching. Not that this is a date date or anything. Just because you're matching with someone doesn't have to mean you're together. It's just because we're going alone together that we can be wearing the same thing, right? Dude, just say you like her dress. Right, Simon? You're on it. Let's go. Oh, I like her dress, the green. Everyone's dancing. Everyone's getting jiggy with it. Taking selfies. Oh my god, Nora, it's incredible. You guys did all of this by yourselves? Yeah, because I didn't have your help, besties. It was all Simon, honestly. I could have never pulled it off on my own. Nonsense. You were the brains behind the whole operations. Let's go to the dance floor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This dance really couldn't be more perfect, Nora. The lights, the jellyfish, the colors. I'm pretty sure I can even hear the ocean. What is that? Is that the ocean? <laughs> that was so corny. Can't get much cheesier than that. Is that a challenge because the night's just getting started and my dad jokes are just getting started as well. So clearly we're having a blast. I love our dance moves. Oh, oh, Lainey, what are you doing? Sorry, I stepped on your foot. You can do it again if you want. Huh? Okay, we're getting jiggy with it. Oh, oh, oh my god, dance. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go um, get, get some punch. And I'm gonna go tie my shoes. But your shoes don't have laces. Then I'm gonna go find some shoes with laces. There? Uh, totally in love. They're totally in love with each other. I didn't even see it until this dance, but I think you're right. Those two definitely have the hots for each other. Really? The hots? Hey, I promised you more corny jokes. Yeah, you did. We should explore some of this dance. What do you want to do, Nora? Let's check out the... Mm. I'm ready to dunk Principal Harold. Yes, Principal! We're gonna get you. Who will finally be able to dunk me? No one's done it yet. <sighs> He's not kidding, it's hard. What do you have to do? Throw the ball at the target. If you hit it right in the center, it'll release the latch and dunk Principal Harold. You should try, Nora, you got this. Yeah, be my cheerleader, Simon. Are you ready? Whew. That's how we throw now, both hands. Whoa, go Nora, this is the coolest dance ever. You know I could give you the tension for this, Nora. <gasps> I'm just kidding, nice aim. Yeah, Principal Harold, who else wants to try to dunk me? That was awesome. What do you want to do now? Photo booth. Let's go take some pictures. Bestie style. What kind of photo should we take? What do you think, Nora? Startle face. <gasps> uh, for the next one, we should laugh. And for our last one, I want you to smile with me. Okay, these are all friend zone pictures. I love it. I'm the friend zone master. Ready to go back to the dance floor? I'd love to. Oh, slow dancing. Nora! Nice try with this dance, but my mural is way better. And yet you and all your friends are here. Isn't that interesting? Is anyone dancing by your mural? Ah, oh, 
Nora, this is just incredible. When I walked in, I was brought to tears. Thank you. Because of your creativity, we're reliving one of the happiest memories right now. You're welcome. I'm so glad you like it. But my mural! Sorry, Joanna. Tonight, the wing goes to Nora. Thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing both of your philanthropy booths at the Eastdale Harvest Fest next. So, core, we win. We kick a butt. You did it, Nora. I can't believe it. Yay! Nora, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Please don't confess. Please. And I can't think of a better time to do it than tonight. Than right now. <gasps> All right, teenagers. It's time to take your hormone-ridden bodies home. I saw enough freak dancing for a lifetime tonight. And frankly, I need to forget it. Rinse my head and bleach. Wow, I thought timing like that only happened in movies. You can still tell me. Well, what I was going to say is that... How you go? Goodbye. Out of here. Thank God, please don't confess. So, what is it, Simon? Okay, Nora, stop asking. Did I do something? No, no, not at all. It's just... Is something wrong? Are you sick again? No, it's nothing like that. Hmm. I just... I, I like you. So much. This was the greatest night of my life. When I'm with you, everything just seems so beautiful. As if everything is just going exactly as it should. Simon. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know what to do. Uh, I mean, he's so amazing, and Dax did dump us for football, but it wasn't his fault. He's on a scholarship. You know what? It doesn't necessarily mean we're forever going to be done with Dax, right? We're just going to live our young teenage lives. Okay, let's kiss him. And our first kiss. <clears throat> I wish this night would never end. Yeah, I heard Dax tell me that too, before he dumped me. I want to stay with you. Maybe he doesn't have to, at least not yet. Where could we go? Everything's closed. My mom's home, so I don't know if you could sneak in. Say, my parents don't sleep through anything. Except when you have to go to the hospital? There's one place though. Where? It's a secret overlook of the city that I found. Nobody seems to know about it. I've only ever gone alone. But it's gorgeous up there at night. All the city lights, the stars above you. Sometimes I go there to think about things. Like you. The secret overlook sounds like the perfect place to stay up all night together. We could even catch the sunrise together. I love that idea. Will you really go with me, Nora? This is our chance to turn him down for free and stay on our merry, very, very friend zone, merry, berry way. I don't know what I just said. We're gonna go all in. Why not? I'd love to go with you. This really is the best night ever. Um, okay, so it's a beautiful overlook of bay, beautiful view. Oh, that is romantic. I love how I changed. This is it. What do you think? It's incredible. I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's pretty amazing, right? Yeah. Nora, I have to know. Do you have feelings for me too? Um, if I'm being honest, I'm starting to like you too. Come on, there's something you have to experience. Please on another night nice swim. Oh, I love that. Wow. A shooting little square. Fireworks? Oh my god, look, fireworks. I love these little pixelated fireworks. They're so cute. I guess the whole world lights up for you. So cute. You know what? Bye, Dax. We're moving on to Simon. Thank you, Nora. For what? For coming up here with me tonight. For getting to know me. I know I'm saying too much. I just, I can't help it. I've never expected to meet anyone like you. Hey, it's still nice to hear. Feel free to keep going. <laughs> I'm just glad we're here tonight. Me too, Nora. I think Simon's a little deeper than Dax, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about this weekend. That was the best dance ever. The entire school is talking about your Sadie Hawkins dance. Um, you mean our Sadie Hawkins dance? Now I just need to impress Eastdale U with my philanthropy. Easy. You're all signed up for the kissing booth at the fall harvest, right? Yep. Then I really can't see how you could lose. I mean, who wouldn't want to kiss you? Didn't you say it's always the biggest charity event of the year? Right. It'll be a total breeze. Not so fast, Nora. Turns out you won't be running the fall harvest kissing booth after all. Oh my god, Morgan looks sad. What? I'm signed up for it. The kissing booth has recently come into new ownership. Huh? Me. Her dad bought it for her. <gasps> You bought the kissing booth? Where the heck are they gonna store that? Hmm, look, sold with me right there. So I guess you're back to the drawing board, Nora. Good luck beating the biggest charity event in Eastdale. Your words, not mine. Why does your dad just buy you a freaking admission to the college? What are we gonna do? Duh, duh, 
Duh. No, for real though, Joanna, you're messing with me right now. You're messing with the wrong Nora right now. She got this Nora behind her, and Simon, and maybe Dax. Definitely not Lainey and Preston because those two were useless. But anyway, I am so excited to see what happens and what has Dax been up to. Are we like totally over him? Are we moving on to Simon? Are you guys happy I did all that? You guys hate me for betraying Dax. But he betrayed me first, mind you. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this story, leave it a like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys later.